What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going to be talking about Natalie, because of course she becomes doppelganger Natalia this week, but we never really did all that much with the regular light 5 star E5, whatever you want to call it, version of the hero. This one of course is V4, she's not like a homeowner or anything like that, but I wanted to make sure people understood the hero first, because well... We didn't really do anything with her. Now, her base stats are absolutely amazing. She has HP, attack, holy damage, and the most important part, damage reduction. Her base attack is going to be one that hits the enemy with the highest attack, reducing their holy damage. Uh, so that's kind of, it depends on what game mode you're in, but that's either relevant or not. Uh, and then also replicates one dot or attribute reduction, which is pretty interesting as well. For every one layer of sheen she also has, there's a 50% chance to deal additional damage to a random enemy her last passive at the beginning of the battle uh, uh or at the, yeah at the beginning of each battle grant self and one ally with the highest attack refraction shelter that's the important one because that has a chance to remove an attribute reduction effect from the owner which is nice because then you can run something uh more along the lines of control purify in a lot of situations so we're gonna have to see how this hero performs because her active skill, of course, the hardest hitting one, uh, deals damage to three random enemies and reduces their speed by 20 for four rounds. Not a huge amount, uh, as well as their holy damage afterwards increases all allies holy damage for four rounds for allies that have refraction shelter. That means herself uh, additionally increases their holy damage by another 14%. Natalie deals damage to one random enemy for every one layer of sheen she has and reduces the target's energy while removing one target's attribute buff. From them as well so we just have like a d copy it has a c minus roll which is decent uh we don't really have anything else to go with this hero i mean i guess the best we could probably do is we could just actually level up a couple of michelles to be some support similar to like a russell type team we can do this here uh and then we can do like a couple holy kids what was it three four so we just need like two holy kids in the team and we'll see how this goes as far as artifacts go yeah we don't really have much so I think we're gonna chuck some like energy over here. If we have anything else on this account as far as energy goes. Yeah, we got a couple more. Looks like we actually got some power in Holmes Young, but what I'd like to do is put that on the Michelle. So let's just give them the energy artifacts that are already made up. Here. That should be fine. And then Holy Kids will put in the back row to hopefully give us something in the future. So what can she do? I don't even know if she can make it all the way to uh, Sealand 20. I've never actually tested her. She is V4. She does have a crown. So I'm feeling confident because there's not many heroes in this game that can't do that. Let's just see how she performs in the super low levels. I'm sure her basic killed one target. Okay, yeah, I mean, let, let's let's go up to like 15-ish, somewhere in that ballpark, because these are going to be very easy clears, as it is with any V4 hero, because that's the true test, is to see if the hero can get there before V4, because V4 is usually very easy to accomplish, uh, especially when you're talking about a crown too, but looks like she's already losing at 16, which is not a good sign for the overall hero. Uh, her single basic attack did not do much damage there. Uh, we might have to run like balance strike on her to be honest. Hard to tell how many layers of sheen she actually has. Yeah, she takes a ton of damage and she doesn't quite dish it out as fast. So running her with balance strike seems like a complete must because she doesn't really have another way to survive. Now granted, we could change also this right here. I guess we can get rid of the control effect, right? Isn't there one attribute reduction when the target with a fracture shield is under attack? 50% chance gain a layer sheen. Let's just stay with the purify for now. Let's see what it can do. Uh, I'm hoping balance strike is the answer because in reality, she has a round two active after, after she takes a lot of damage, which is good. She did get energy drained. Not the best for us. <laughs> okay. Oh, that did not. Oh, balance strike. It killed the targets, which means it's not going to heal for a lot. You got to remember that is <sighs> balance strike does not work if the target dies, which is kind of one of those really, really weird scenarios. 
Um, I'm wondering if just building her offensively then would be the better option. Let's try the A and B. That does give her a little more damage. Uh, I don't think there were like anything else, right? No, no melodic strings, no nothing like that. Yeesh, this could be a little sketchy here. Um, I feel like the A and B might actually be better damage reduction and it's more offensive because it gives more attack. Plus his defense because it also gives block. So she is, t ee, ee, no, 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 no. Correction, that is not what we want to see. Okay, that's, that's not. Let's just give that back to that Shia that we had before. Granted, it is only a glittery crown, but at the same time, not that great. <laughs> we are getting some stuns off, which is good for us. Been active. She hasn't actually even been hit yet. Sadly, her basic doesn't really hit hard. Granted, we don't have a great stone on her early either, which is probably part of the problem. She has like block HP. Oh god, she doesn't really even have a chance to crit at this point. Good lord, that's um shockingly low crit chance. <sighs> My goodness um we do have a lot let's just see if we can get something more like a crit crit attack stone i don't want to roll too many times i kind of do actually there we go crit crit attack that way at least she's sporting like a 28 percent chance to crit <laughs> oh geez because i was like even her basics they should be healing her but she's just not critting which is the problem Oh, yeah, her crit chance just is not there. And when we're talking about non transcendence heroes nowadays, it actually is kind of hard to give them crit chance. Oh, man, that energy drain is so bad. So we're going to kill some targets, which means we're just not going to heal. She got lucky, though, and she actually killed the target. Let's buy a couple more. I kind of want to put her in slot one now. That way she gets hit more often so that potentially she gets more actives off. Oh, geez, that was really bad. The basics from those back line absolutely suck. Oh, and then the boss hit us too. No, okay, that was not a good idea. That was not a good idea. Let's give it a few more. Um, Not exactly what I'd be calling feeling this hero. Uh, it's more of a this hero kind of sucks by herself, which is, is kind of why I'm like not thinking she's going to be a great damage dealer. I think she's going to be a support ranger, much like we saw with Scarlet Queen Halora, where she can do some damage and like some sea land stuff and things like that, but is mainly used for the support capabilities. And I'm thinking the replication of attribute, attribute, attribute reduction. <laughs> Oh my god, attribute reduction effects and dots might be the thing that makes her useful if she like, kind of retains that as a transcendence. But you'll notice we're just killing the targets, we're not healing. <sighs> I don't like it. Granted, we, we're very low power. This is not a very strong account, but I mean, has full ranger gear, has like everything you'd really want on a hero, but he still just feels lacking, so... Initial testing on here, not that great. We'll have to see what the doppelganger Natalia can do this week coming up, hopefully on the Thursday live stream. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think about this hero. Let me know if you want me to try a different setup on her. Granted, there are very limited resources at her disposal, especially artifacts. I'll see you guys next time.